One of the quips that I say in regards to this movie is that it's about nothing, but also about everything. We've come to number eight, Boyhood. Richard Linklater is very obsessed with time. You've seen this in his Before trilogy, where we're meeting the same characters every nine years. We see this, of course, in Boyhood. The movie he's currently filming over the next, like, 15 years, Merrily Roll Along, is also concerned about time. There's also an argument to be made that all movies are about time in one degree or another, but we'll save that discussion for a later date. Boyhood is filmed over the course of nine years, and it features the same actors playing those characters as they age. And there is something about that, yes, you could have absolutely made this movie with old age makeup and casting different boys. That is something you absolutely could have done. There's something much more meaningful, I think, by the time you get to the end of the movie and our main character, Mason, asks his father, so what's the point of all of this? And then you have to have Ethan Hawke basically say like, I don't know, no one knows. That's the whole point is that nobody knows what life is about. We can just live it the best that we can. This is just a series of vignettes of a boy's life. Some of them very tragic, some of them very euphoric, some of them in between, because I think that's the magic thing as you get older. And maybe this is just me now becoming an old man and wistfully thinking back in time. When you do a flashback to your life, you do often think about those little snatches of time, those little moments that you can recall when you were in grade three or grade seven. It wasn't maybe the most momentous moment of your life, but it feels important to you. It's like, I remember that conversation I had with a girl on my way home, or I remember hanging out with friends in the upstairs bedroom playing Xbox games. Like sometimes it's not even the specific things, it's the general idea of your life. I've already mentioned how I think rewatchability is such an important aspect for the films that mean a lot to me. And I do find this film so rewatchable. It's nearly three hours long. The few times I've watched this movie, I honestly think it's like, I'm, I'm going to watch a little bit of it, pause it, maybe go and do something else and then come back and finish this off. And I'm always pulled into this entire story. I always have to like finish the entire thing in one sitting. It feels momentous by the time you get to the end of it. This little kid that we met being lost and confused and ultimately him graduating and going off to university to start a new life. Is it like the most like white knuckle thrill ride film that you'll ever see? No, but it's such a beautiful moving film for me. Richard Linklater is one of my favorite directors as well, and we'll see if he's able to do Stephen Sondheim justice when the Merrily We Roll Along film comes out in like 12 years from now. What are your thoughts on Boyhood? Let me know them down in the comments below. How do you think about your life? Tomorrow, the one entry on the list that is basically a cheat. So what's the point? Or what? I don't know any of this. Everything. Everything? <laughs> What's the point? I mean, I sure as shit don't know. <laughs>